The first shot is of a pile of woody debris in an eddy at the base of the slide on the west bank of the river. This was all washed in during the flooding in the Chilcotin earlier in the month. Now we're transitioning to a overhead of a beach saint setup showing how we're capturing salmon for transport above the slide. This setup would have been used to capture Chinook and Sockeye salmon for transport. August 1st, a fish wheel is being rigged and deployed in the river to provide an additional means of fish capture. Also in August, you can see that though the river is very murky, you can make out a large collection of salmon holding in an eddy below the slide. August 4th, you can see the scalar staging area on top of the cliff on the west side of the river. You can also see that though there remains woody debris in the eddy at the base of the slide on the west bank of the river, there's significantly less. You can see that the slide area still is a high velocity area. The water prevents a significant barrier to migration still at this point in time. August 10th, the debris from that eddy has all been cleared out and salmon have begun to work their way up the west side of the river. You can see in this shot salmon working their way up to a pool behind this large boulder. They're trying to migrate around it on either side, but not having any success. It's sockeye and chinook both in that pool. It's now August 14th. You can see that the water level has come down. We're beginning to see passage of salmon at Churn Creek and confirming that with radio tags. You can see scalers working to improve conditions along the side, though it's still a very high energy area and the passage is very difficult. Only Chinook have been confirmed to migrate through at this point in time. August 18th, we start looking downriver at the West Bank. It's still high velocity flows and difficult migration conditions. Chinook are still able to pass, but there's no evidence yet of sockeye movement. A close-up on the area shows the pools and channels that salmon are using to make their way up the west side of the slide. If you look carefully, you can see where salmon are resting in pools and eddies as they work their way up the slide, holding behind rocks, like J Rock here. August 30th, notice the water level has dropped considerably. Salmon movement is significantly improved. We start with an overview of the slide. At this point, both Sakai and Chinook are passing along the west side of the river. Fishways have been brought down to the base of the cliff and are being used to help salmon move through difficult areas of passage. This is a rock at the top of the cliff, behind which there's an eddy where salmon that have made it all the way to the top are gathered. September 12th, the water level has dropped again. By now all species of salmon have been confirmed to be passing the slide area. The fishways that were brought down earlier are now high and dry but scalers are continuing to work moving or demolishing problem rocks to help improve channels for salmon passage. 